put the gold one on that brush. I need a clean brush. Because <laughs> I'm on my nose. I really suck at this. My eyes aren't even. Nothing is even. For my birthday, I want an even face. I'm so bad at makeup. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing fabulous and having a fabulous week. So in today's video, I am going to transform myself into the beautiful Jade Hunter from Rainbow High. I love her so much. My mom actually sent her as a gift to me because when they first came out, I couldn't find her anywhere um, in the city. So I called my mom and I said, can you please, please check out your Target close to you and see if you can find her. And she did, and they did have her, so she sent her to me. So she holds a very special place in my heart because she is a mommy present. And I actually wasn't planning on doing a video today because I am actually super, super low energy. <laughs> you know, it's like dreary outside. All I wanna do is just chillax. But I really, really wanted an excuse to play with the new Jeffree Star Blood Money palette that I have here. This came in yesterday and I've been wanting to play with it. And you know, makeup days are either <laughs> very frustrating or very therapeutic for me. You know, frustrating because I'm an artist and I usually can't get things the exact, exactly the way I want them but then they are also very soothing because you can just indulge and play and paint yourself, you know. But today we're gonna do makeup and I am going to transform myself into Jade. If you've seen the Rainbow High series, you know that she is the makeup artist, so I probably won't be able to do her the justice that she deserves, but at any rate, we're gonna try. Hey guys, so this is actually the second time I'm filming this. I really didn't like how the first one came out. And so I'm gonna try again. So if you see, I might insert some of the commentary into this video. So if you see a mixture of me in this outfit and me in a different outfit, you'll know why. So first I'm gonna try and cover my brows because I think today I am going to make them green as opposed to, oh, never fails as opposed to a natural color like I usually do. And I always use way too much concealer, like way too much. See, this is already off to a bad start. This is looking a lot like yesterday. So I'm going to use my favorite foundation, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in 31NN. And let me tell you, I think I've tried like every single foundation on the planet and none of them have worked for me like the Urban Decay one. I really, really wanted to like Fenty because, you know, everybody likes Fenty. But it did not work for me. I tried both formulas and I actually really liked the matte one, but none of them matched my skin tone. They were either too olive or too yellow or too cool. I'm kind of a, a very, very neutral color, I guess. I like have neutral skin with red spots, if that makes any sense. But this Urban Decay matches my skin tone almost perfectly. So now I'm gonna go in with the, eye, the Anastasia Eye Primer, and this is actually only the third time that I've used it. A little bit goes a really long way. So for my brows, I went in with Poseidon, which is this like army, military, green, brown color here a camel brown. Doing my doing my brows on camera really stresses me out. Actually doing all makeup on camera stresses me out. But if you're gonna do a makeup tutorial, you gotta do something on camera, right? So I'm gonna go in first with this color Make It Rain here. And I'm gonna put that right into my crease. And I'm just gonna pack and pack and pack and pack and pack and blend that a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring it into my corner here. I have super, super hooded eyes, so basically just shove the brush in between my eyeball and my eyelid. 
to find my crease. Otherwise, I don't really know where it is. So now I'm gonna go in with the color Poison Ivy and go right on top of that. It is the most beautiful green. I went to the mall today to do some Christmas shopping on Black Friday, because I figured who's gonna be out on Black Friday. And I was right, there was literally nobody in the mall, nobody. The very first Black Friday ever I have been to the mall and there were, it was like a normal day at the mall during the day when everybody's at work. That's how packed the mall was today. It was insanely not busy. So now I'm gonna go in the color Divine Intervention, which is a super, super pale, shimmery green. I know, I put that all the way up there. So now I'm gonna go in with the color Crocodile Tears and I'm gonna put that into my crease at the corner of my eye. Take it around and meet the other corner of my eye. And let's blend that out just a tad. Not too much. I always go overboard with the blending and then I lose the color or it gets really, really muddy. That's my bad habit. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Jaded and pack that on here in the corner. <laughs> I end up pushing so hard my eyeballs move. I mean, they move anyway, but it doesn't help that I'm pushing on them. So now I'm gonna go back in and cut my crease a little bit. So now I am going to go in with the color CEO. And this is a super, super shimmery color. The good thing about this color is that you can use both your finger and a brush. It works with both. You know, some you can only use with your finger, but this works with both. So now I'm gonna go back in with the color Crocodile Tears and just blend this teeny tiny area right here. Now I'm going to go back in with Make It Rain and bring it down onto my lower lash line. Here. 
You know, the good thing about being in the mall and not having anyone there is like you don't have to wait in line. You didn't have to wait in line. And because the stores had like lines set up outside each store in case a lot of people came and then they could still do like the social distancing. But since nobody was there, you didn't have to wait in line. But the sad part is that so many stores had like closed already. I mean, I know a lot of stores are like waiting till after the holidays to close, but a lot of my favorite stores had already closed, which is really, really sad. So now I'm gonna go back into CEO and put that here. I feel like my fingers are too fat for that kind of thing. So now I'm gonna go in with Crocodile Tears. So then I'm gonna go back into that really, really light, pale, shimmery, green, divine intervention and put that in my corner. So for my lower lash line, I do not have any of the Jeffree Star eyeliners, <laughs> but I do have this one, this Urban Decay eyeliner, and it is in the color Mildew, which is a beautiful metallic green. Now I always use my pinky finger and I put it on my cheek so I always have to make sure my pinky doesn't have any color on it. So for eyeliner, I've actually started doing a, like a devil, devil's tail in the corner because I've noticed because my eyes are hooded, when they're open, you barely see any of the eyeshadow. So I like to go thin with the eyeliner on the top of my eyelid and then thicker in the, in the corner because I like seeing a lot of eyeliner in the corner. But if I cover it all up, it just looks a little wonky because that whole space there is filled and it just looks funny. So I notice if I do kind of a little devil's tail, you still see the shadow and it still looks pretty and then you still have that long tail at the end. So I, I, I just recently found that a few days ago and I actually really like it a lot. And they're never even. I can never get them even. So for blush, I'm going to use this Milani powder brush powder brush, powder blush in Coral Cove. This is so old. I really should think about getting rid of it. I haven't used this in ages though. I feel like it needs to be used. It's calling to me. For highlighter, I like the Becca Cosmetics Skimmer Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Because your girl loves highlight, I do really love the Fenty highlight in Starstruck. Time for lashes. So yesterday for this look, I actually ended up using one of the mini velour lipsticks that came in this Money Honey Jeffree Star box. So this beautiful green it's this most gorgeous, gorgeous color. That is Ducky throwing my earrings off of my dresser. Beautiful, beautiful color. But I don't, I didn't really like it with this look after I tried it yesterday. Actually, today I think I'm gonna go with a more nude look, a nude lip. I never do a nude lip because I feel like my lips are so full. I don't like the way I look when I speak with a nude lip. I like my lips to be very defined. I like the way it looks better. But for the sake of this 
today. And because Jade has a nude lip, she doesn't actually wear green lipstick. I just really, really yesterday, I really wanted to use that green. Today we're gonna use the Anastasia Liquid Lip in Crush because this is my favorite nude lipstick when I do wear a nude lipstick. Thank you, I appreciate that. You're gonna lose all my earrings. And I'm gonna top this off with my favorite lip gloss from Anastasia. This is called Saint Topaz. Excuse me, my bird mess. Excuse my bird mess. Don't look at that. Most of these items I picked up off of Shein because it was cheap and I wanted to be cheap doing this but still look cute. Jade has this cute little top on and it says, it says anti-sparkle sparkle club. It is super cute. I cannot find a shirt. I looked for a shirt that says something like sparkle on it. I couldn't find one, but I did find one like this and I thought this would be quite perfect. I thought it would go really well with this outfit. So it's this unisex men's t-shirt and I think I, yeah, I got it in a small. It's just a black t-shirt and it has like this tea, toothy, teethy, smiley face on it. Just a very, very simple graphic. But it is black and white, very similar to her cute little top. Now she's got these cute little shorts on and they resemble the Billie Eilish. Actually this whole doll is kind of, was modeled after Billie Eilish. So she has these cute little shorts on that Billie Eilish has. These like little graffiti looking shorts. So I looked for shorts very similar to hers that had kind of like a graffiti writing. I could not find any, but I did find these cute little pants, very similar color, the lime green color with the black writing with these very badly hand-drawn faces all over it. And they are like a windbreaker material, very noisy. I would not be caught dead actually walking in these because it would be like swish, swish, swish which I can't stand. I absolutely hate to be heard when I'm walking around. I'm like a ninja, I like to be stealthy. And these pants definitely don't cut it. But for the sake of this outfit, they will totally work. And they are, they are a really cool color. Now she also has these cute shoes. And I had intended on making the ribbons around these cute little shoes with the jewels attached to them. So first when I, I saw these shoes, I, they resembled a shoes that I had, had seen by Kate Robin and I will post them here. And I was debating for weeks on whether I should get them or not because I didn't think they were the right color. These were a yellow color and hers are like a white and a lime green color. So I was like, should I get those shoes? I really don't need them and I probably won't wear them again. So I've ultimately decided not to, but I do have a pair of white and lime green Fila shoes. And so I got some ribbon and some jewels to do the actual wraparound thing she has going on with these shoes. But I'm so lazy today, y'all. I'm so lazy. So I'm just gonna skip over that part. So if anybody wants some free jewels, I got some. But here are the Fila's that we're gonna use today. These two-toned, white slash lime green shoe. What are you doing? Thank you. You know you're not supposed to be on the floor. You know damn well you're not allowed on the floor. Yes. Yes, you know you're not allowed on the floor. You know I'm not allowed, you're not allowed on the floor. Yeah, you know you're not. Toddler, you're like a toddler. Yes. I'm always telling you to not do stuff you're not supposed to do. I know, I know, you're so loud. You are all over the place, so dirty bird, dirty bird, dirty bird. So you'll notice that she has about, she has these beautiful ducky. Oh my gosh, she's ugly. So you will notice that she has this beautiful long green hair. And I went through about four or five wigs and I could not seem to match the color. What, will you stop? Will you stop throwing my earrings around please? But I finally settled on this wig because it is the most gorgeous color and I will wear this again. It is this beautiful neon lime green colored wig 
gorgeous that I got off of, did I get this off of Amazon? I think I got this off of Amazon. Oh, and it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. I'm a hot mess today, oh my God. But it is a lace front wig. It's the most beautiful color. All right, so there's that. And lastly, she has this adorable, adorable wig. Wig. She doesn't have a wig. I have a wig. She has this adorable hat that she's wearing over her hair. Might be a wig. She actually has these little things to secure her hat on and I haven't taken them off because I don't, then once you, once you, once I clip them off, I'll never get the hat back on. So to match her hat, I got a hat as well from Shein. It's this beautiful lime green hat and it pretty much matches the wig. They're so close. Hers are not as close. The colors are not as close, but I think this will totally work. So all right, so that's it. So this is our outfit. I have the makeup, so let's get dressed and put everything together. All right guys, so here's the final look. I actually like this look a lot better than the one I did yesterday. Yesterday was just a test drive. So I really, really love the wig. I love the hat. I love how the makeup and the lip, it just pulls everything all together. And I do think that I, I think I pulled it off. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. I think our shirts go well and our wigs go well. My my pants, oh, I have a little bird. I have a little bird nesting in my hair. Hello, little bird. I think my pants and her shorts go really well together. And the shoes, even though I didn't add the jewel stuff on the shoes, the shoes totally work. I think overall, I really pulled this outfit together. I mean, let me know what you think. Please give me a thumbs up if you think I pulled off this cosplay and what are you doing you having fun she's having fun she's having a lot of fun yeah is this what you've been waiting for all day she's been waiting for this all day she says at nighttime mommy wears wigs and I get to play yeah oh my sweet baby so let me know what you think if you like this outfit if this tutorial helped you at all thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it give me a big thumbs down if you'd like to see more videos like this and cosplay musical cosplay fashion haul styling videos and everything in between don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i will see y'all next time Mwah. bye